They look so good. Boy, we've done like, we never do Facebook Lives, and then in one day, we're like all over it. Like amazing. Okay, so I, oh, I wish you were doing that side. Okay, go ahead and do your thing. Okay. It's totally fine. I'm going to move over here. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, we tuned in earlier. This is Trish. There's Hannah. Hi. And um, Hannah was painting over this big hutch that was in Louis Blue initially. Um, and she painted it in graphite, chalk paint, by Annie Sloan. And so now it's this really big piece. Um, and I have to admit, the way my phone is picking up the color graphite, it looks brown. Look at really? this. Look, look. Can you reach? Look behind. Whoa. It is not brown. It is literally, let's see if I get closer. There, actually, without the sunlight, you can see it. It's more of like a warmer charcoal. So we decided it was a little too dark. So Hannah's throwing a cocoa wash right over the graphite. Yeah. And why don't you talk about how you make a wash? So I mix equal parts paint and water. Talk and loud. <laughs> I mix, uh, equal parts paint and water and honestly I just eyeball it I don't get too scientific with my measurements um, I get it to the consistency that I like sometimes it's a little more than equal water uh, sometimes it's less just depending um, and you can see it's a very soupy consistency oh. very watery uh, and then I like to take a chip brush because it's very kind of textured. And sort of pixied nice... on the edge. Yeah. 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 This then... is a good, this is a good shot. So you can see the cocoa over the graphite. Okay. So what are you doing over there? So I can. I brush the mixture on and then I wipe it right off. Unfortunately, so... I'm catching you in this tight corner again. Yep. I'm almost done. Just brush it on and wipe it off. And even though um, you're going to finish in that corner, will you end up coming back and doing it on top maybe? It might be easier to video up there. Sure. Okay. You're just using some... Hold on a second. Hold up. Hold up. We have like this store that's 2,000 square feet, and we're working literally in like a three-foot space. Um, what was I going to say to you? I have no clue. Oh, those Scott shop towels. Yeah. We, we sell them. You know, you can get them at almost any auto pot. Why am I? <laughs> Auto part store. And they're relatively inexpensive. It's okay. You can make fun of me. It's been a long day. But those work out really great. If you have an old t-shirt, that could work too. I like the shop towels because they are so inexpensive. You can not feel guilty about just disposing them. of yeah. them. Okay. So I'm going to get out of your way and I'm going to knock something over. I'm going to back up over here and... Are you comfortable working so that way you go up and like, yeah. okay, let me back up so that way. Oh, I just found my scarf. <laughs> Left it there about four hours ago. Which section do you want me to work in? Well, you know, you've got about 72 okay. people on right now with us. So I think in order to make this easier, I think you should do something up, up on top. And which direction do you want to come at it since you are right-handed to make uh, it easier for you? And again, this was painted with graphite. It was a Louis blue with old white. We decided um, we're totally changing over our entire store and the look, and we're going to do the floor. We're, late, we're taking the ceiling out and raising it up, and so we decided to paint this over. So this was painted in graphite. You did it uh, a coat yesterday, and you did another coat today. And it just, it looks great, but we just thought, you know what? We really kind of want to soften it up a bit. So we debated between what colors, Hannah? We thought about French linen, um, but we thought cocoa would be a little warmer and would complement the graphite Be careful better. with that nail right there. You don't catch your hand on it. My luck. Then she'll be out of work Workers for months. Call. Workers' comp vacation! <laughs> Play in court. <laughs> <laughs> you have like 69 witnesses. <laughs> 73. You're all going to get a subpoena to show up in New York. <laughs> so um, if that nail wasn't in the way, it'd make it a lot easier for you. But I like the way it is there. It's okay. Oh, oh look it. at that. <laughs> Came right out. So again, we did this with uh, Annie Sloan graphite um, chalk paint. 
and now you're doing just a wash of cocoa over it. Mm -hmm. You also, can I just kind of, can you tell me what stamp this is that you did? So that's from one of the newest Iron Orchid Design stamps. The name of the set is Bohemia. Um, and I actually used French linen to stamp that. So that's what led us to decide cocoa would be the right color for the wash. Yeah, so you know, French linen is a little bit of a cooler, but you did French linen and you mixed... A little bit of Athenian black to darken it. Okay. I didn't want it to contrast too much with the graphite. Okay, let me just kind of get in here a little better. So here's the side, the graphite with the French linen wash. And this is just, although I have to tell you that it color. It does look brown. It looks like French linen. It, it's coming through so funny. I don't know if it's the lighting in here. Probably. But when I get down, even that doesn't look right. My gosh, guys. And I, I am using a, a pretty good... Brand camera here clothes. yeah brand new as of today so um i wonder if that kind of gets it a little better i guess so you're applying that french linen wash all you did was mix a one-to-one -one ratio water to cocoa. to cocoa so sorry keep <laughs> correcting me because i think i probably said that wrong at least three times and um diane she used one of the iron orchid design stamps on the inside of the hutch so what's the secret to doing washes here? Why don't we go over that? I like to mix equal parts paint and water and see how the consistency is. If I brush it and feel like it's still a little too thick, just add another little splash of water. Um, and I like to use a chip brush because it is nice and textured. You get that nice yeah. variegated look. Are you going to do the top of that section? Oh, good. Doing a wash really really i think makes a big difference in how mm -hmm. i the whole overall look it even looks so much more like professional, professional. and high end even if you're not <laughs> you even if you're joking around <laughs> so with the wash don't be afraid to wipe it hard yep and it's okay if there's some variations to it you don't want it to dry though i can tell you that but if it does dry, what I like to do is have a mist bottle handy. You want me to get it? Yep. Right oh, I'm coming down. Bottle. Sorry, guys. There you go. I have a mist bottle handy. So right now it probably I actually like ideal. that. I actually like that, how it's heavier right there. Okay, well, never mind. Thanks. I like that. <laughs> but if it dried too much and you weren't able to remove as much <sighs> as you wanted, you would just take your mist bottle. Or before we had the mist bottles, I would just have a water bottle handy and I would take some water pour it on my towel and it kind of almost reactivates the wash I really like the look of how that's heavier right there I'm gonna want you to do that on the top of the that section afterwards too okay. it looks good judge ruling <laughs> say what judge is ruling <laughs> okay so you're gonna apply more of the cocoa wash I'm gonna move this base in hopefully not knock anything over there. Okay, so you can see where the cocoa wash is now and where there isn't any. And Hannah's just going to bring it along. And if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up, do something, let us know. <laughs> um, I really should have tuned in earlier when you were doing the stamp. Iron Orchid Design Bohemia stamp. I wish this would pick it up better. It's maybe because of the wall, that yellow wall. Um, you know, and if you guys have projects and you're like, boy, I would love to see these two colors combination, just let us know because... We've got all the time in the world. Because <laughs> we don't do anything around here. And we're bored and we need some ideas. <laughs> I'm usually back there with my feet up. <laughs> Only working from... 10 till 11. Now, this is what I'm going to be interested to see you do. I want to see you blend that because I think when you start and stop, that's where sometimes people get a little nervous. So right there, it kind of looks a little funny where the seam is. So that's another place I would take my spray bottle and I could either spray directly on the surface. I like to spray on my cloth because I feel like I get a little bit more. That's control. not going to erase it? No. Okay, prove it. I'm just going to lightly go over it. Proof's in the pudding. And blend the seams together. Don't be afraid is what you're saying. Yeah. 
And sometimes what I do after doing a wash as well is I'll take some sandpaper and even out the surface, I'll distress some areas. So really down on the lower section too is proof that when it's so busy like that, you don't notice the small imperfections. As I was doing it, I noticed a lot of things that I was messing up in the moment, but point it out to me. What do you see? <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on a second. I was going to say a couple things. Well, first off, Marianne has a question. She says, say you didn't in old white, what wash would I use? Say you didn't in old, or say you did it in old the, white. Yeah, Hutch were old white. You could literally do anything. I mean, you could do a wash with the graphite. Cocoa white. over old white would you look gorgeous. Do, yeah, I've done a lot cocoa with an old white wash, but the colors do go well together. Um, it just kind of depends on how much of a contrast you want, how much you're just trying to layer or blend colors, or you could even do like a pop of color with a Florence. red or a blue. Yeah, you could do anything. There's, there's really nothing, you can't mess no, it up. yeah, there's no rules on this. It's really comes down to what your style is and stuff. So, um, are you going to wash over the stamps? I was, but I'm going to give it a full day to let the stamps dry because you don't want to re like constitute the paint. Heavier, yeah. I don't want to mess the stamp. Okay. So Diane, you asked, are you going to apply the wash over the, um, stamps? of that Iron Orchid Bohemia stamp, which is on our website. And that's yeah. just one of like a bunch. It's like a, a collage yeah. of stamps, yeah. right? In the packaging. And yeah. actually maybe we'll grab that in a second. Um, okay, so again, you had a hard stop of that wash and you're just restarting. You really don't overlay too much is what you're saying. Not a lot. Okay, go for it. A I'm new gonna... coat will activate the layer underneath and make it easier to... What's that, honey? I can't hear you. Stop it. I'm just joking. So a new coat will activate the layer underneath and make it easier to blend. Oh, you're gonna drip. Oh, that's a drip from yeah. before. <laughs> Thanks. Good job there, Hannah, good job. I get, I think when doing a wash, you better have some elbow grease, right? Yeah, and it's nice to have some texture from the color underneath. Okay, so actually I'm going to zoom in. Can you point that out on yeah. the camera? So you can see my brush strokes in the graphite in these areas. That's what gives some interest to a wash is having texture also, underneath. Right here. Yeah, just giving it some area. Even if it's a large flat surface, giving it some area There's for... There's almost like your brush stroke had a little arc to it, yeah. but it catches that wash and yeah. it, it gives it something of interest. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can pick up on that. Oh, besides my finger and the lens, sorry. <laughs> We're definitely not professional like some sites we go on that are amazing. Mm -hmm. But this is real. Um, if you have a question, um, feel free to post it. So again, we're not going to do the wash over the Iron Orchid Design Bohemia stamp today. And that's because Hannah applied it today. And she just really wants it. I want to give it time to set up. There's when you stamp, there's areas that are thicker and thinner. So the thicker areas will obviously take longer to dry. And I just want to make sure it's fully dry. I think we should do this to the hutch in my dining room. What do you think? Yeah. You've been kind of pushing me to try something yeah. like that. Okay. Um, we're really literally look, we're in the middle. We're in the front corner of our shop and my husband, Steve, is out there taking down, which he's hiding behind that sign, it seems like. He is out there, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Oh, there he is. He's starting to come around. He's taking down some lights, but here's our shop, and um, we're going to be doing some demo here. We're taking down a half wall that divides the front, but we have this big space, and literally Hannah and I are stuck in the front corner. So, yeah, kind of crazy. Okay. Hopefully I'm not giving you whiplash because sometimes I move the camera. And there's my husband. <laughs> he, he like sees the camera and turns around. He looks like a puppy. It's so funny the way his eyes were. I love that cocoa wash over the graphite. Yeah, it's nice. It really does soften it. So I'm just going to take a view down here, show him that bottom section again. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's pretty. 
And Diane says drips equal distressing opportunities. There so, you go. so Tammy asks, I, she says, I missed the beginning. Is the cocoa dil diluted? Absolutely. We're doing a wash. Hannah mixed about equal parts water to cocoa. And then just use a very inexpensive chip brush. You want to show us that chip brush again? Yes. We so, sell them for $2. Yeah. Right? What a deal. I don't know. 50 cents? I don't even, I don't even know. know. But it's the chip, chip brushes are awesome, and they're great to have a bunch of them. They're inexpensive. I like how they're sort of thin. And see how the, the bristles are pixelated? $4. I think they're $4. Are they $4? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a steal. <laughs> so when you're doing a wash, too, and this is where I overlapped, and it's almost oh, like it wait burned a, second. a hole in this area. I'm coming back. Okay, say this again. This is where the two sections overlapped, and it's almost like I burned a hole in that area. So I am just going to take my brush. I'm not going to add any more paint, just going to use what's already on there and just lightly feather it over. And then go back and lightly wipe with the rag just to blend those two sections together. Oh, just to make it look a little more natural. And I think in the big picture, it's kind of like when you're looking at a forest, you're not yeah. focused on just one item. Can you put that wash on and leave it a little heavier in that yeah. arc here? Because I liked how you did that on the other side. It gives it more dimension. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if I can come around you to this side so don't fall. <laughs> and see if it makes any difference in the color. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> we're getting really close. <laughs> oh, it's so awful working here. <laughs> we don't have fun. Nope, no, not at all. Boy, I got to tell you, if you're afraid to do a wash, don't be. Don't be at all. And you know what? You're going to love it. It's going to make such a huge difference. Like, what a difference that makes. Yeah. Seriously. Between that and then just one straight color... If you're using stop, get your butt out of my face. If you're using chalk paint and um, you're only doing one coat, like one color, I feel like you're not optimizing. You're not really taking advantage of the product. It's so pretty. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We are going to finish applying this wash. On the hutch. And then we're going to the bar. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to the bar. <laughs> you know, it's bad having, being in a small town, and then there's a bar, like, literally across the street diagonal. So, hey, if you're in western New York, if you're in Madison or Palmyra, and you want to come down to um, Twisted Rail with us, just meet us there at 6 o'clock. <laughs> right? Only Why not? If, only if you're buying me a beer. <laughs> you're bad. Okay, you're gonna have you're gonna keep going with that elbow grease. Yeah. Watch that nail there. You might want to take that one out again. It's like deja vu. Okay. Let's take a peek. I just again, I just it's stunning. I really love the wash. You know, and again, you guys you can do this with any color. You could have painted it in old white and then done a graphite wash. Oh Hannah, I think that would look so awesome. We need to do a piece in old white and then do a graphite wash. Yeah. And then I think we need to do one with cocoa over old white too. Yeah. Or original. Yeah, original's a nice color. Yep, look at that. I got two people on ladders. Steve. <laughs> it's like I am in charge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I love that lamp, that that chandelier right there with this piece. Although you can't see it, his little green beads. That was my my little find I got at Lowe's. But okay, guys. Well, I hope this helped you again when you're doing a wash. I'm just going to flip this around. When you're doing a wash, it's super easy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Is that a hard, fast rule? Mm -mm. You can do more water if you need to. In fact, you know, I was going to mention sometimes if you're painting something and you have like a little container of water, just about that much water, and when you get done painting, I would put my paintbrush in there and then let the paint, any sediment, settle to the bottom of the water you could reuse that water as a wash. I mean, if you are extremely frugal or you are on a tight budget and you are painting pieces that you do for, let's say, a charity or some organization and you really want to maximize every single ounce of paint, um, especially if you are painting and donating things, you can literally use the water you 
you uh, wash your brush out in to do a wash over another piece. So um, washes are very easy to do. I'm going to put a link underneath this Facebook Live to a post on our our website, our blog, which is just thepurplepaintedlady.com. If you have questions, you can leave them below. We're always happy to respond back. And if you haven't signed up for our newsletter yet, um, which is totally free, and it's also going to be giving you some, I think a coupon code yeah. for the month of November. So if you're purchasing um, product online, there might be some parameters associated with that. But if you purchase um, products online, we're going to provide a coupon co code that, stop making fun of me, you're distracting me. So um, that way you can get some free goodies, which everything, anything like that is good, I think is awesome. It makes me excited. So, okay, maybe we'll tune in from the bar, but otherwise, thanks for uh, checking out Hannah doing this cocoa wash over graphite. Bye.